So I woke up here nice and early this morning and I'm going to move on and I've decided I'm going to drive right up to a campsite fairly close to Rome in a place called Anzio. It's about a 70 kilometre drive, I don't know what's that, 50 miles, hour and 15 minutes or so and I have a supermarket stop along the way. So other than letting the dogs out for the loo a couple of times, I'm going to drive straight there. It's 50% coast road, 50% inland. Now, I'm still having problems with my electrics. In fact, they're a bit crazy. My leisure batteries are losing their power, which need to work all the time. It's going off. But yet, my computer, <laughs> that's just complicated, it's working. So, don't know what's going on. And then when you start your engine, your 110 system is supposed to go off. Mine had been off all night, but when I started my engine, it come on. So, there's something a bit strange going on. It really doesn't affect me much, and it doesn't affect me at all if I'm, if I'm going to campsites. But I don't want to be going to campsites all the time. So I'll have a think about that. But probably going to definitely need a mechanic now. Or an electrical guy. Anyway, onward and upwards. Let's go. another look at the map there just before I set up it's actually about 95 kilometers so taking into account my supermarket stop hopefully a little I think it'll take an hour and a half to two hours oh so far this has been a lovely drive I haven't said that much while I've been in Italy but it has it's been a really beautiful drive the roads have been a lot better thoroughly enjoying it Lying in my bed a couple of nights ago, I started to think about Sophia and my second dental appointment. Now for anyone who doesn't know, I ended up in Sophia a couple of months ago getting fairly major dental treatment done. Well, I have to go back to get, there's a, just a checkup for part of it, but I'm getting more work done. And I decided to go ahead and, and book in. So I did that yesterday and I'm booked in for July in Sophia. So then last night I was thinking, although plans <laughs> tend to be a bit of a waste of time, I end up always doing other things. I've put a general plan into action and I'm going to work my way gradually around. It's about 10 weeks to the appointment and this is the route that I'm going to take more or less. I'm going to go to Pisa, I want to go to Pisa. I'm going to go into Rome first of all, but then I'm going to go to on up and into Pisa and then cut across. Round, but I'm really looking forward to Croatia. I've heard great things about Croatia and I'm looking forward to that coast and driving down. And when you go on to Google Maps Street View and look at the roads, it's just beautiful, it's immaculate. Let's hope that is the case. I checked Google, found this little, and I'm going to go in there now. got away without any potholes today but I turned the corner about a minute ago and couldn't avoid a big thud and ever since the road's been terrible but I've only got I'm nearly here I've, I've only got a few miles to go really This is the campsite, very big looking. Don't your flags look? Looks good. A few moments later. Closed. For flip's sake, didn't even say on the website. But anyway, found another one, round the corner, straight away, and this is it. So that's us. Massive place. I can't believe how big it is. I've never been in a motorhome or campsite as big, and it's 10 euros a night, including electric, including water. And this, it's a nice and flat, solid, and secluded at the moment. So I'm completely like chuffed. This is just perfect for me. 
I've no excuse now not to do the few jobs in the van that I know how to do myself. Raved here a couple of hours ago, showered, shaved, cleaned the van. It took me a while to find my spot, to give me a wee map, but the place is massive, absolutely massive. There are a whole section of it, most of it looks to be chalets that people own, although I haven't seen too many people about, so they must be all holiday chalets. Um, since I've parked up, someone's parked up beside me, but we're the only two I can see in the whole place. But it's so big, it took me a while. I had to, I parked the camper up and had to put the drone up to see if I could trace for the spot is that he wanted me to be in. But we're here now, settled in, and I'm going to be here for a while now because of things to do in Rome. This is Monday, and I've to go into Rome, I think it's next Monday. I'm going to use the opportunity to do the bits and pieces to the van that I can do. I want to try and fit my radio and adjust my bike rack. Uh, I'm also going to get a chance here, I think, to use my bike because it's so far to the gate. They're building a new toilet and shower block beside me here, so there was a bit of activity there for an hour or so, and I thought, oh, I'm going to be tortured with noise, but it stopped again. I'm going to take the dogs down now. What confused me was he told me you're parking your parking spot that he drew in the wee map is by the beach. So I'm actually still like 100 metres from the beach. And that sort of confused me and got me lost. If he hadn't said that, I'd have probably found here fairly quickly. So I'm going to take the dogs down for a walk and into the beach and let Molly, if it's a nice empty beach, let Molly build about on her own without the lead. And, and as we know, she loves the water, so she'll be in the water. Right, so new radio box you think it'd be nice and easy Ta-da! I've already started trying to figure it out and wire something together but I don't know we'll see I'll keep you updated we're heading down to find the beach not sure of the way down to it but as usual look crazy molly <laughs> very very hard to walk she calms down after a while but the problem at the minute is most of the time to take her for a walk she's going to the sea which is her newly discovered favorite place so she doesn't calm down until we get to the sea she walks back up great and i see a gate but i don't know if we can get through it beautiful evening molly calm down no doubt this will all be buzzing in a few weeks. Ha ha! This is actually brilliant because it's a private beach and there's no one here. And I'm going to be able to let both of them off the lead. Right, jump into the water. I have a feeling to make this appear very quickly. Where are you going? <laughs> Forgot the camera. <laughs> the sand axe is a really good tripod, you know. This looks like, I mean, it's the nicest sand I've ever seen. Well, there is people, there's people coming down there. Buster will have to go back in the lead.
course they're never finished when those people went past, but it's just so hard to take a risk with them. You never know when he's just gonna lunge at somebody. Nothing to throw, love. The problem with a really immaculately clean beach like this is <laughs> there's still nothing to throw in the water for Molly. There's a few plastic bottles typically washed up from the sea. Hey, you wanna go into the water? Come on. You ready? Go! I think Daddy should go into the water as well. What do you think? Buster just had a big drink of it there, he didn't like that. Right. Oh, gee whiz. It's such cold. Of course it's the sea. This has been a great find, this place. 10 euro a night, a few miles from Rome. Just at the time that I was looking for somewhere I needed to stay for a week. Perfect, things always fall into place, one way or the other. Spent my afternoon trying to do the radio. Didn't work. A million different colors on the a million different other colors. Right, let's go. Come on, go on, come on. Don't wanna go, don't wanna go, come on. Oh, okay. Now tomorrow, I'm gonna do my bicycle rack, reduce its size, and it will work. I'm good mechanically, not so good electrically. So guys, I'm gonna leave it off there. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, subscribe a wee push, bell a wee push, thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. So until then, bye for now. Molly likes the roll, <laughs> the roll and that when she when she's wet, she's stinking. What are you? Stinking. Don't care, do you? <laughs>